30 in the morning and I'm going to a pretty fun place today. It's fun to visit uh, different uh, villages, having some coffee, etc. But um, the main thing why I ride the mountain bikes is that I want to go to the trails and uh, have a bit of an uh, adrenaline rush from time to time. And uh, today I'm going to have at least some of it. I'm going to a place called uh, Rio Seco. It's a few kilometers south of uh, Torrevieja. And today I'm going to try a new contraption. I don't have a GoPro yet. Uh, and I would like to have one uh, with a chest strap to be able to film properly when I go on a trail. But I made this thing. It's genius, isn't it? It's a old pulse band and uh, it's an old uh, piece of uh, mobile holder that I normally keep on my bike. And I cut a, cut a hole here for the camera lens and you just slide this in and, uh, and we'll see what happens with the footage. Seems as if it doesn't work properly. It's uh, pointing downwards too much. But I guess if you have a big belly, then you would have an advantage because then you could uh, angle the camera a bit more upwards and uh, get some more sky in the footage. I think when I uh, sit down and ride properly it still shows too much road so uh, but if I sit up uh, it's okay so I think there's room for improvement on this one Seke is, as uh, the name suggests, a uh, dry out riverbed. There are several entrances to Rio Seco, and one of them is right over there. But I'm going further up uh, inland to take the longer route. I don't know if you can see that in the distance, but right down there is the sea and uh, the village Mil Palmeras. Apparently it's called uh, Rambla de Rio Seco. If you didn't know that. But of course it's a Rambla if it's dried out. Um, now I'm going, uh, yeah, you could go down here, a uh, very steep part of the trail. I'm not sure it shows on this camera, but it's uh, pretty steep. And to bring it back down here is uh, kind of uh, adventurous. So I'm going further up inland to, uh, I think it's called El Pinar de Campo Verde um, and from there there are several entrances, I know about two. Rio Seco is a pretty popular hiking track, a mountain bike track and I think you really need a mountain bike here to go here because it's pretty, pretty gnarly at some places uh, to bring an old uh, beat up banger, I don't think that's the, the way to go here. I think it was down here somewhere. No, wrong exit. Dogs, lots of dogs. I think it's the next exit. Here it is. All right, so this is a proper exit. It was an uh, asphalt road right down there. Road is. Yeah, the people too. <laughs> I 
I'll just stop here for a minute because this is a really fun part. It's a cool descent. We can go really fast, but I have to break at the bottom because there's one entrance to Rio Seco. Hello, doggy. Sorry for the shaky footage, but I had to keep my both hands on the bar. So, here is one entrance, and uh, sadly enough it looks really dirty, apparently from, from the rain this spring. And uh, on the other side, there's a small trail where I've never been to before. It's a cave, apparently. Straight up here, Cueva Auma, it says. Never been there, I uh, don't think I want to go there with, um, with the bike. Alright, but we will continue up this hill to find uh, the other entrance that I know of. Seems as if Rio Seco is not that Seco. This could be a messy story. I take some comfort in these signs. So uh, if I go right, I go to Mil Palmeiras. If I go left, I go to Area Natural Rio Seco. I've never been left actually. I'll save that for another day and then I go right from here. to rely on my little device here because I um, need both hands on the bar it's pretty pretty rough terrain here pretty rocky pretty sandy pretty fun Whoa. Pretty technical this. Oh, I'm not sure it shows on this camera. But um, in some places you really need to walk. At least I have to. Okay. Oh. 
my glasses. better further ahead yeah I just want to say that this first part the upper part is really gnarly and from a bike maintenance perspective maybe it's a better bet to start further uh, downwards but some fun this too as well there are some sections that are really fun really technical but then there are some sections where you really need to climb and get over things and get wet and muddy and all of that maybe that's not for everyone let's continue okay literally two meters from running over a snake Whew, let me show you hey little snakey at least it doesn't bark yeah getting out of the way Good boy. I'm finally out in a little bit more open section. And from here on it gets a little bit easier. Uh, a lot of sun, but uh, maybe you see something there. Yeah, I just met a friendly Spanish guy on a mountain bike coming from the other direction. And he said that this trail is uh, more or less broken because of all the rain this spring. And uh, well, I'll give it a try anyway, so everything above the canal doesn't look as it did last year, I can tell you. So it's a pretty difficult ride. And uh, yeah, for sure, a mountain bike is what you need here. Yeah, this trail is pretty broken. Lots of uh, pretty large boulders. And I don't mind walking a bit, but these boulders may damage my bike. It's easy to hit the, the front chain ring and uh, yeah, do pedal strikes and all that. And, and that's a risk because you can damage your bike for no reason really. Yeah, but let's keep going. Okay, finally made it to the tunnel uh, that goes under the canal. And from here on, I hope it's uh, a little bit better and not as damaged as it is above this tunnel. Uh, it's taking a longer time than I thought this. Yeah, this is what they call gnarly. I think I'll walk for a bit. Trail gets a little bit easier here. You can still see some damage from the rain. It's much better, much easier to ride here than it was before. soon I think. There are a couple of things that uh, I forgot on this trip. One is gloves and another thing is uh, knee pads. I think both can be very useful on trails like this and I'm pretty lucky that I never fell and uh, didn't have to use my hands or my knees to protect myself or to take the fall. Uh, a few other things uh, while I'm here. My mountain bike is not uh, anything fancy, it's a budget entry level mountain bike, but it's a proper mountain bike and it's nothing that I bought from a supermarket or anything. So 
So I'll show a couple of things that I really appreciate with this bike. First up, it's uh, the wheels. These are 29 inch wheels. And uh, since they're so big, it's easier for them to roll over things. And especially these large boulders and rocks, the bike doesn't stop and get stuck that easily. That's one thing. Another thing is uh, flat pedals. Uh, I really like to get off the pedals if I have to. And these are proper pedals with uh, proper pins. Another thing that I invested in uh, this year uh, is the dropper post. And I just press a button here on the bar and the saddle post extends. And you can get uh, the saddle out of the way real quick when you get into uh, tough situations. So you just press the button and sit on it and it goes down. And then the last thing that I did this year too, uh, that was to invest in an oval chain ring. And what that does is that it helps in uh, when it's really technical and really steep, it evens out the pedal strokes. So it gets really easy to uh, get over obstacles when it's really techy climbs. And uh, even on all climbs, it really adds an extra gear, it feels like. I really like oval chain rings. Okay, so I just realized I'm in a hurry again. I need to get back at 10 because of this lockdown situation. And uh, now it's nine o'clock, so I better get moving again. Stop filming so much. Yeah, you know what? There comes a point you gotta realize that you gotta turn around. It's not it's not fun to have to lift your bike all the way over obstacles. Worrying that things will break. Well, the trail wasn't really a trail when I got a bit further down and so I think I call it a day. I think someone needs to spend some money to make this ride or to make this trail rideable again or even walkable because as it is right now it's just not worth it. So I'll uh, try to find a asphalt road back home and as I said I need to hurry so there's no time for more exploring okay thanks for watching if you want to you may subscribe to this channel for some more of this content